And we do so in the name of his only begotten son, through the word of the cause of Jesus Christ, Yahweh will shine. Right, double honors to the elders and apostles that rule well, gave us his knowledge to push to our people in these last of the last days. And salutations to you, brothers and sisters, that come and hear the word sincerely. And uh, listen, we running out of time, y'all. We running out of time, man. Give me Revelations 12 and 12. You give me uh, 1 Peter 4 and 17. Because, listen, y'all, the elders, the elder brought out this through the spirit a beautiful testimony, right? Of who we are as a nation of people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Bible. All right? Bottom line. But before I bring out, before I, uh, uh, I, I, y'all got questions, I'm going to get to y'all. I got I to gotta bring this up. So, let me follow the The book of Revelations, chapter 12, verse 12. Uh -huh. Therefore rejoice, uh -huh. ye, people, ye heavens, uh -huh. and ye that dwell in them, uh -huh. woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that ye have but a short time right woe to the inhabitants of the earth right because the devil is coming down with great wrath because he know he got but a short time what what time is that right you give me a uh, second address six and nine read that Book of First Peter, chapter four, verse seventeen. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Oh, what was what time is it? For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth! For the time of judgment is here right now. Judgment is happening to our people. Judgment is happening to America, right? And they getting ready to strip your rights from you, and you're gonna cry. You're gonna cry bitterly. Because you had an opportunity to take this food that we're giving you. Man should not eat our bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And this brother, the elder, was given the word. And I see a lot of y'all walking by, and y'all not hearkening. Right? Doers are going to be justified. And we out here doing what the Most High told us to do. And to yell at y'all simple behinds, that y'all got to come back to your heritage. Finish that. And if they first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Right, because judgment starts with us. If we don't get our house in order, the most high going to put us in shambles, man. All the other nations we want to follow by, they going to put us in back into slavery. Because that's the main goal. They got, they got a, uh, a project called the King Alfred Plan. The King Alfred Plan is to round up 21 million of you so-called African-Americans, right? And put your behinds in concentration camps. Because they already know that y'all are going to resist their authority. We're coming into a time where they're about to shut off the money. What y'all going to do then? Because y'all know what time we in. We second address, uh, no. Nah. Read that. What time we in, huh? Second address, chapter 6, verse 9. Bring it out. For Esau is the end of the world. What? For Esau is the end of the world. Again, all together now. For Esau is the end of the world. We in a time where we at the end of the world. And if you knew what the Bible was say, you knew who was the end of the world. The so-called white man is in rulership. Four corners of the earth, got an embassy everywhere. Guess what? And he put sanctions on everybody who trying to take they take the value away from the American dollar. You think he gonna go out without a fight? And he's gonna use blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans as cattle to this war, man. But y'all understand what's going on right now, man. Y'all ain't hearkening to the voice of the Lord, right? Give me that. That's good. Not nine and one. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9, from the top. Uh -huh. He answered me then and said, 
Measure thou the time diligently in itself. I'm measuring the time diligently with itself. I don't want to watch the news. There's always bad stuff going on. How the hell you ain't going to know what's going on if you don't watch the news? We got to watch, therefore, and pray that the Lord come and deliver us out of this place, man. Three. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time. Uh, it is the very same time of what? Where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. The most high is getting ready to visit the world which he made. How is he doing that? Through judgment. Right? All these, all these prophecies that's happening in the Bible, like the, the floodings that was going on in the south. Right? The water supply in Mississippi going bad. They ain't even got no water. Grinding coming low. Jobs gonna be scarceless because y'all ain't gonna have no money. They're gonna cut off the dollar. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? The Lord is visiting this place, y'all, and y'all still wanna BS and party. Party and BS. That's all y'all care about. It's Saturday, Saturday night. Right? What manner of people you ought to be, what manner of conversation you ought to have in the last days. Read. Verse 3, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, uh -huh. then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things. Uh -huh. The Most High spake of these things, because everything that was written aforetime was written for our learning. And he's speaking through his men. Oh, I have my own relationship with God. He talked to me. Hey, guess what? It's a scary thing if you think God talking to you, because he, that ain't the Most High, man. <laughs> That ain't the most high. That's Satan talking to you, man. Because if you ain't doing the will of God and he keeping his law, and your commandments, he ain't dealing with you. And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the most high God. That's right. Now with that, I'm going to edit. Oh, I ain't written no more. Sister came up. You got a question? You're just listening. You know your nationality, right? But from what you heard so far, what, what, what do you say your nationality is? You're African. Okay, so Africa has 54 countries. Which one are you from? Nigeria. You're from Nigeria. What tribe in Nigeria? My father is I'm sorry? My father is Igbo. Igbo. Okay. okay. Ah. All praises. All praises. So, y'all keeping customs and laws over there? Uh huh. Hey, look. Uh, and this is why it's important that we, you know, we build with you. You know, um, we gotta be doers in these times, man. Give me, uh, give me James one, one. Give me James one, and give me Romans. Give me Romans two and thirteen, one and twenty-two. Right? We gotta be. It's, it's about putting in action. When somebody say they love you, they ain't never met you before. They say you love you, you believe them? No. So, with your mouth you can say it, but how, how, what is his heart like? You know what I'm saying? The most high is about action. So we about action. So we out here trying to show the Lord we love him. We're gonna keep these laws, statutes, commandments, and warn our people. Because Matthew 5 and 17 told us, he that teacheth men so will be the greatest in the kingdom. You see that? If you ain't doing it, and you teach men that you ain't supposed to be doing it, or you ain't got to do it, you're going to be called the least in the kingdom. Don't mean you're not going to be in the kingdom, though. But what position you're going to be in, that's up to the most high. Right? Give me that James 1. Say something. All right. This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 22. It says, But be ye doers of the word, right? And not hearers only, receiving your own selves. So, it, like I said, the Most High is about action, and He wants us to be doing stuff in these last days. We got a lot of work to do. Look at our people. Look at the condition of our people, right? Homelessness, uh, 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 thought culture, uh, uh, niggas, coons, right? Uh, just getting out the wrong information out here to our people, especially the children like the brother was bringing out 
right? We, we are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So we don't even know when we're going to get bamboozled, hoodwinked by our oppressors. And we're still in the land of our captivity, but we're comfortable, right? Tomorrow we're going to go sit up in the pews comfortably while a white boy is plotting to shoot it up. We're comfortable though, right? No, we're on the side. And we got our, we got, we're, we're circumspect and keeping our, 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 our peripherals open. Why? Because we have to look out for every children of, of Israel, the children of God. If you love God, you're going to do, you want to do what he told you to do, and that's keeping the commandments, right? Give me that. This is the book of Romans, chapter 2, verse 13. For not the heirs of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. But the who? But the doers of the law shall be justified. But the doers of the law shall be justified, right? So we want to be justified that, hey, we did this to the best of our ability, right? Give me, give me Judges, give me Judges 5 and 11. So now, sister, know, you, you know you're an Israelite. The, the, the tribe of Ebo would be of the, the tribe of Judah, all right? Y'all would be of the tribe of Judah. Now, y'all was on that side, you know, you didn't get rounded up. How'd you get over here? Your mother's American. What should, what should, and your dad is, is from Nigeria. How'd he get over here? I'm sorry, I can't. School. He came over here to go to school. Okay. Okay. You know what he studied? He studied psych psychiatry. Okay. School. So, there's laws in this Bible that a lot of our people didn't know. The first five books of this Bible is the Torah. And we have we have statutes, laws, commandments that the Lord gave to the children of Israel to follow throughout their generation, wherever they go to dwell, wherever they land. You know what I'm saying? Your dad was in was in Africa, your mom was here, right? She ended up her her family ended up on the boats coming over here. Didn't mean that they were supposed to stop. You know what I'm saying? But because we lost our heritage. We ended up stopping and forgetting. And we forgot our power. You know the name of the, of the Lord? You know the name of the Lord? Good. We ain't gonna give it to the evil. You know. You heard, you heard us say it. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, look. This name is, 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 is a terror to the heathen. They fear this name. That's why they don't want to put it in. They don't want to put it out here. And as soon as you say it, they're gonna call it a, uh, they say, uh, anti-Semitism. God, bring that up. They call it anti-Semitism. But look, we, 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 we are Shemites. We from the seed of Shem, right? Anybody know the history of, of Noah and his three sons? Shem, Ham, and Japheth? Shem? Uh, I mean, Ham was the progenitor of the dark races, but not the Negroes? Got it. Okay, read it. Read that. Yeah. Ham. Ham, the youngest son of Noah. Born probably about 96 years before the flood. Uh -huh. And one of eight persons to live through the flood. One of eight persons to live through the flood. Why? Because it was Noah and his wife, his three sons, and their wives, right? We know. He became the progenitor of the dark race. Uh -huh. Not the Negroes. Not the who? Not, not the, the Negroes. Negroes. Not the Negroes. But the Egyptians, uh -huh. Ethiopians, uh -huh. Liberians, uh -huh. And Canaanites. So the Egyptians was Mitzrayim, right? The uh, uh, the Cushites were the uh, 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 Ethiopians. Yep. Yeah, uh, 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 Somalia, Somalians was the Puts, uh, and Canaan was the Canaanites. Libyan, Libyan. Libyans, Libyans, right? So, and the Canaanites. So these were the ones that populated the majority of Africa, right? But Shem had his sons through Eber, Abraham, the, prog the progenitors of Isaac and Jacob and the 12 tribes of Israel. You can read that in Genesis, right? right? And the, the curses that the children of Israel are facing today is because their forefathers didn't keep the covenant. They were breaking God's law, statute, and commandments. When they left Egypt, right, they were supposed to keep the commandments, but they, they didn't. They were they were they were transgressing, okay. And God destroyed a lot of the, a lot of them. But see, the the problem is identifying who they are today. We had we did, we wasn't opening up this book to even understand. We we wasn't given that spirit of understanding at that time, right? But see, today 
the spirit has put on us to understand it and we are here spreading the truth that these curses identify me and you, this brother, everybody out here. Right. And it's important that we know that because now we, we can finally hold each other accountable for something. You know what I'm saying? If you say you love God, but you, you say it with your mouth, but your heart is far from him. You see what I'm saying? So it's important that don't let nobody get away with that Tupac saying, only God can judge me. Only God can judge you. You don't want God to just judge you. Because he ain't got to get off the throne. He going to send down a, a catastrophe event, a catastrophic event to judge you. And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. You can walk in the middle of the street and get hit by a bus. That's judgment. You go, you go, you go walk around and look, the boy just shot a, shot a, pulled a gun on and shot. And that bullet could have hit somebody. Great bullet. You know what I'm saying? That bullet, that was judgment. You see what I'm saying? So only God can judge you. Are you sure that's what you want? Or you want us to come to the come to the world, come to the law, and show you where you're transgressing. Right? So you can change yourself. Right? That's the most important thing. So these words are only given to the children of Israel. And wherever we go, we were supposed to keep these laws, right? Give me Daniel chapter 9, verse 11. Give me Psalms chapter 147. Right? We're supposed to do these things in these last days. Because like I said, this stuff going on right now. It's going to keep, it's, going to, it's having us in our people in derision. They don't know which way to go. They don't know whether to go left, right, up, down. All they know is to go home or go to their friend house, roll up some weed and say, whatever happens, happens. Right? The Most High is furious with that thought. Right? He's furious with the, with the evil, the evilness in our brains, man. Right? But we got to keep these laws, right? Let's, let's, uh, let's, give me verse 11. Matter of fact, give me verse 10. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 10. Verse, uh, this is the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse, verse 9. Verse 9. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgivenesses. So, so, so to the Lord our God belongs mercies and forgiveness. He's going to forgive us if we repent. Repent means turn away, right? What is sin? Transgression of God's laws. So if we're transgressing, we have to turn away from those what we're transgressing, right? Because we want mercy from being judged, right? Read on. Though we have rebelled against him, uh -huh. neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God, and the voice of the Lord thy God is us bringing out the truth. That we're saying, yeah, hey, you're not supposed to eat pork. You gotta be quick. Ah, I love pork though. I ain't gonna stop eating bacon. I ain't gonna stop eating bacon. I love pork chops. That's not, that's not being quickened, that's being rebellious, right? Rebellion is as witchcraft, and, and this, uh, the law says, suffer not a witch to live, right? We don't. To walk in his laws, which he set before us, uh -huh. by servants, the prophets. Right, by servants, the prophets. That's who's speaking. That's the voices of the Lord, the, the prophets, right? We don't. Yeah. All Israel have transgressed thy law. Who? All Israel have transgressed thy law. But there's some good people out here, huh? All, All Israel, Israel have transgressed thy law. And I mean, I, look, I go to college, I got a degree. I, I, I give charity. I, 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 I'm, I'm good to my neighbor. I go to church. I go to church. On Sunday. On Sunday. And I give my tithes. Hold on. All, All Israel, Israel have transgressed thy law. All Israel have transgressed thy laws. Right? Because we want to do away with this. We want to do away with it. We don't want to even open it up. We want to seal it away. Say, well, nobody can understand that. Everybody had their own interpretation. But the Bible says there ain't no private interpretation. Bring it out. They say what they say. Keep therefore and do them. Right? Read on. Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Even by departing, they ain't going to even obey the voice of the Lord, right? 147 and verse 19. Psalm 147, verse 19. We're going to find out who departed, right? We don't. He soweth his word into unto, uh, unto Jacob. So he showed his word unto Jacob, right? Jacob was Isaac's son, right? Read on. His statutes and his judgments 
unto Israel. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Jacob is Israel. Did you know that? You knew that, right? His name got changed to Israel because he wrestled the angel, right? All right, you know. And, and, and hold up, you know the Hebrew word for Israel. It, it's Yah Shar Allah. Yah Shar Allah. Yah is he, Shar is prince, Allah means power. So people go on and say, in the name of Allah, you just saying in the name of the power, in the name of the, the, the men of the Lord, really. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't even know that. But the princes of the power, we are Israel, right? We are Israel, and we are gods on earth. But we're going to die like men because we ain't keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, right? We don't. Verse 20, he has not dwelt so with any nation. So he ain't dealing with nobody else. He didn't give these, all, all Israel have transgressed the law. He ain't talking about nobody else in that scripture, right? He didn't be like, the whole world transgressed the, the laws. No, he said Israel, right? And as for his judgments, they you not know them. They have not known the judgments, right? nations know the judgments meaning thou shalt not do this or thou shalt be put to death you see what I'm saying let them go ahead and stack up because the, the sins of this world done reach the heavens and the Lord getting ready to come down with, with, with his by his son to wreak havoc on this place right that's why I brought out the scripture judgment gonna start with the house of Israel first us we got to get dealt with because we're a house right Okay. Right, yeah, finish that up. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. There all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. The what? The curse is poured upon us. And the curse is Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down to 68 will tell you all those curses that's poured upon our people. All right? You know. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. Uh -huh. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us, uh -huh. and against our judges that judged us, uh -huh. by bringing upon us a great evil. A what? A great evil. Uh -huh. For under the whole heaven have not been done, as have been done upon Jerusalem. So ain't all these things is going to happen to our people. Ain't nobody else worrying about what, what Deuteronomy 28 and, and, and uh, uh, 28, 15 on down, 68. Ain't nobody, all these other nations ain't worrying about that but us. We, we figuring out that that's what happened to us, right? For example, give me Deuteronomy 28 and... Uh, and uh, verse uh, what's it 37. 37. Right? Uh, yeah, then give me that one. Give me that one. And you give me Acts 13. What, 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 uh, what's up? You know what a racial epithet is, right? A racial epithet is what people, what they say racial slurs. They'll say something about us that with them, I'm offended. What you say to me? I'm going to knock you out, right? This is what's going on. All the other nations of the earth, the brother brought out 17 nations, and hey, all these other nations outside of Black Suspense and Native Americans got a name for us. What's the, what's the main one? She can say it. Nigger. Yup. Nigger. Nigger, right? But look, 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 some of our brothers is out here being niggers for real. Like, right? hey, give me that. Give me that, brother. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. Uh -huh. That shall become an astonishment. An astonishment, right? An astonishment, like, well, look at these niggas, man. This is crazy. A proverb. A proverb. What's a proverb? An, a saying, right? They, they, these, these niggas is just violent. These niggas is just loud. Uh, not just country, right? Greedy. Lazy. Right? That's all. All types of stuff they say, that's a proverb, right? You effing nigger. You know what, back in when we were actually slaves in chains, they used to put paper bags over the uh, over the slave and make him have sex with his mother. And then when they when they got real nasty, they'll say, you mother effing nigger. 
that's where we get that mother effer from. They have no idea that's where they came from. They don't even know that that's where I came from. You mother effer. Nigga. You, that, these crackers called us that. Right? That's it on that? Give me all. Uh, give me the one where it said the fierce continents with the heart. Eagle, eagle swoop. The eagle came and swoop. Hang that out. Well, let's, let's see where that word came from. Then. This is the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. Check it out. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon uh -huh. that was called nigger. That was called what? That was called nigger. That was called nigger. The word nigger in the Bible means black. Black Christians, right? Back then, they these were the true niggers. And, and, and look, we were, we were saying, we, we thinking now it's a derogatory time because we don't want nobody calling us that. You know what I'm saying? But it was right here in the word first. You see that? How simple is it? I still won't let it, I still won't let it, a, a, a white boy call me a nigga. I don't care. I know it's in the Bible. You call me a nigga, I'm going to smack you. And we're going to show you Esau that the Bible speaks of. Right? Right? But this is this is our history book. This is this is who God is dealing with us. It, like 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 my elder always bring our fubu. For us black. But see, on, why we are in the situation that we in, and we're and we're serving our our our, our captivity in this land, getting called racial epithets and stuff like that because we didn't keep God's word. Now we're not blessed above all nations on earth. We're cursed above all nations on earth. No matter where we at, we're over here in America, over there in Nigeria, over in India, over in, in Russia. Look at Brittany Griner stuck over there because she smoked a, a vape. For 10 years, that's, that's, she's cursed, can't leave. Wherever, no matter what, China. All, all, the, all, all of our people over there, they got trapped when, the, when, when COVID hit. And they was beating the hell out of our people over there. We're cursed. It was calling us all types of all types of names. The Africans called us what? A cotton cotton picker. Not cotton pickers. I see the I see the brother a brother. I, I, I'm not I don't know all calling them brothers. A heathen from Africa say proudly, we not the same. Y'all were slaves. We we stronger than y'all. But how come? How come Jamaica got the, the number one in, 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 in the 100 meter dash? How come we got the NBA, the, uh, the USA best basketball team in the world? How, how, how is this? No other nation can box with us because we are the greatest people on the face of the earth. The most high dealing with us, right? Give me one of y'all, Angles 3 and 3. Bring it up. But we serve in our captivity because we, we are here, right? Kitchen. But what do you what do you fill your kitchen with? From where? Made from the store, right? Right. But who owns the stores? Exactly. Right there's the cook. And hunger and in thirst. And in thirst. When you want water, where do you get your water? Right. Pay a water bill too, right? Right. Right, go on. And and nakedness. Show them on. Show them on. Where do you get your clothes? Right. Right. Because do black do black people own uh textile manufacturing companies? No. Right? This is a curse, right? Read on. And in one of all things. Right? You gotta pay your energy bill, right? You gotta pay a gas bill, right? Right. And you in one of all things. You need these things. Right? Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. 
gonna put a yoke of iron, meaning when you look up yoke of iron, you're gonna see a brother, a Negro, with a yoke of iron and some chains on uh, uh, attached to it. Huh? Shackles, right? You know. Until he have destroyed me. Until we are destroyed, right? So now we don't even know that this that this is what's happening to us was prophesied. Skip down to verse 68 real quick. Sixty-eight, uh -huh. and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Uh -huh. Where's Egypt? In Africa, right? Read on. With ships. With what? With ships. So do you need to get from from Jerusalem to Egypt? You need a ship? No. So what's that saying, right? Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. So we ain't gonna see that ancient our ancient homeland again, right? And then he shall be sold unto your enemies. And in this Egypt, you're going to be sold to your enemies, right? For bondmen. What? Bondmen uh -huh. and bond women. What's a bond man and a bond woman? We're bound. Huh? We're bound. We're bound. What does bound mean? We're stuck. We're, we're stuck in a, between a rock and a hard place, meaning slaves. A slave man and a slave woman. That's what we're being sold as bond men and bond women, right? We don't. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy us. Now, when we got off those slave ships, did we get bought by the highest bidder? That's an old Quaker term for redeem. Ain't nobody going to redeem the children of Israel out of this situation. Right? The, uh, what's it called? The Emancipation Proclamation didn't free us. It didn't free us. It transferred us over to the state. Now, the state is responsible and gave us social security cards and birth certificates. And now we got to pay taxes. Give me uh, Baruch uh, uh, 3 and 8, right? Bring that out. This is the book of a Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Uh -huh. Can two walk together? I mean, two, that's a lot. Two verse one. This is the book of Amos chapter 3 from the top. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. This is the word he's speaking to Israel. And the only. Against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. So he only knew the children of Israel. That's why he said all those curses was going to come upon him. I, I didn't read verse 15, but it says, If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God will uh, uh, to do all his commandments and his statutes, that he will put a curse upon his people, right? That was uh, roughly paraphrasing verse uh, 15 in Deuteronomy 28. So he's saying he only gave that to Israel. So when you look at our people today, are we on the top of all the worlds? Are we are we are we uh, just this uh, glorified nation of people on top of the world? No, we're not. We're at the bottom because we chose not to keep God's laws. We chose not to follow His ways.